What's up, this is Vinsanity, and today I'm hanging out with Dizzy from Supernaturals all the way out here in Los Angeles. And today he's gonna be teaching you guys a bit of the Toronto style. Yeah, today I'm gonna give you a little quick tutorial on the clock blender, which originated from blenders, which originated from Toronto. Clock blender is a little bit about uh, illusions and making it look like a blender, like a clock. All right, let's get started. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is first we have to start on the ground and what the move comes from are blenders. Blenders, it's kind of hard to do because I'm on carpet, but blenders are essentially done like this where you start off in a jet, in kind of like a James Brown pose, James, James Brown pose, either this way or this way, and what happens is your, your, your leg swings under. But as it swings under, the next one prepares, the knee goes down, and you're actually putting a little bit of weight on your knees and making the knee the pivot point so the foot comes around again. So it looks like this. Now this move, the clock blender, it has to be done in both directions. Okay, so you need to do blenders in both directions. So you go underneath from the inside. As this one goes in from the inside, the other leg is already preparing. Go. Okay. So once you have that, if you have the blender already, then the next step is to go and sit with your legs crossed, like this. What you need to do is you have to have your both hands to the back and you lift your, your hips up to give a little bit more room, okay? Your legs are crossed, but to get, make it even better, what you're doing is you're bringing your thighs together and you're bringing your foot as far back as possible, like this, not like this, but as much like this as possible. It takes a little bit of flexibility, but if not, it's okay. You can still start like this. So the first step of the blender, the clock blender, is this foot is going to slide forward and go next to your other foot, like this, right? It's very simple, like this, and later on you're gonna need to know how to bring it back like that, okay? So your one foot hits the next foot. From there, the next step is the foot that was kicked, it's going to come around and it's gonna blender underneath you and meet your foot, which is gonna be staying in that position, okay? So the first foot's gonna kick the, kick the second foot, the second foot comes around and goes side by side, okay? Let me show you that again. Over here, one and two. Now, the next step, basically doing the same thing, but on the other side. So. If I'm starting again, this foot's gonna kick this foot. This foot's gonna come around and kick the other foot. The other foot's gonna come around and the other foot's gonna come in, okay? Remember, when it comes in, don't come, don't try not to come in just into a figure four. Try to keep your legs together and bring your foot as far back around to your hip as possible, okay? So once again, I'll show you what it looks like. It goes one, two, three, four, okay? Once again. It goes one, two, three, four. Now we do it faster, it's like this. One, two, three, four. And then you do reverse. One, two, three, four. Reverse. One, two, three, four. Reverse back. One, two, three, four. Now doing it fast looks like this. One. Boom, 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 boom. And there you have it, the clock blender. So yeah, that's it for the tutorial. My name is Dizzy, once again, and I've been a Bebo for 22 years. I've won 11 international titles, and I just started my own B-Boy vlog. You can follow me at Dizzy Diaries. Click on the links below to go to my Facebook, Instagram, and of course, YouTube page. Thank you very much everyone for watching once again, and just want to let you know one thing, the moves that you learned from me and from everybody else, you should flip it, change it, and make it yours. Thanks once again, and peace.